Hi, welcome to America Uncovered. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. It's 2018, and people are still driving their own cars. Ancient technology can be so frustrating. But don't worry, soon we'll all have cars that drive themselves. That's why today we bring you five ways self-driving cars will make your future amazing. Number five, commuting. The average American drives about half an hour each way to work every day. But if you don't have to drive, your commute will be a lot more relaxing and productive. You can just set up your laptop and work while on the road. You can do more work and not get paid for it. Or you can do what I would do and just rewatch all seven seasons of Gilmore Girls on Netflix. A more relaxing commute means people won't mind spending more time on the road so you can live further away from the office and spend even less time with your annoying family. And eventually, when everyone has self-driving cars, it will reduce traffic delays because self-driving cars will be able to go really fast and close together. And then, everywhere you go will be like driving in Los Angeles. Nothing like going 100 miles an hour bumper to bumper in a car you can't control. Number four, city design. The average person would be willing to have a longer commute in a self-driving car. So people will be willing to live further from work. And that means urban sprawl. But at least it'll be easier to live out where it's not so expensive. Or instead of saving money on rent, you can just live in a bigger, nicer house. Finally, I won't have to live in a tiny apartment in Queens with 15 roommates, three of whom I've never met. Anyway, self-driving cars will affect real estate prices because there will be a higher demand for homes further away from downtown. Traffic lights can also eventually be eliminated once everyone has self-driving cars, since cars will be able to use sensors to avoid other cars. The same kind of sensors originally tested at singles bars so women can avoid me. Parking will also no longer be an issue because your self-driving car will pick you up drop you off, and then go to a local parking garage. And then, it'll scratch its own paint and get into an argument with the parking attendant who swears it was like that when it came in. And on the road, self-driving cars can move with more precision than human drivers. So some experts say that eventually, roads won't need to be as wide. But what they're not factoring in is the cars will need to be wider, because Americans are just going to get fatter and fatter. Number three, saving lives. In the US, about 30,000 people die each year from car accidents. Self-driving cars could reduce that by 90%. Drunk driving would be a thing of the past, although drunk people vomiting in cars will still be a cherished American pastime. And while you may not be driving drunk, self-driving cars aren't going to stop you from doing other stupid things when you're drunk. Carl, get down from there. You are not the king of the world. Of course, there will still be car accidents. And self-driving car accidents will at first seem random and shocking. But ultimately, fewer people will die. And that's a good thing. Or is it? See, about 13% of organs available for donation come from car accidents. That could create a shortage of organs. Now I know what you're thinking. With all the drinking you can now do in your car, won't there be a bunch of extra organs from people who die of alcohol poisoning? Yes, but you can't use their organs. They're pickled. Number two, car ownership. Why own your own car when it will be so easy to just hire a self-driving car from Uber? And a self-driving Uber could cost as little as one-fifth the price you pay now. And you won't even have to feel guilty for not leaving a tip and pretending it's because you forgot. So forget having to deal with your own car, just rent one from your smartphone, or the chip the government implants in your brain. For most Americans, car ownership will soon be just a novelty, reserved for collectors, and for self-sufficiency type folks in local militias, prepping for the rise of the Clinton bots that will inevitably destroy America. More on that in a future episode. And number one, vacation. Now, I don't know about you, but as much as I love road trips, any trip that involves more than eight hours of driving each way becomes pretty tedious. But wouldn't it be great if Dad could just sit there with a the beer and relax while the car drives itself? Your self-driving car can also be the one to tell the kids, no, we're not there yet, and 
I swear to God, don't make me pull myself over. You'll even be able to rent sleeper vehicles and drive all night with luxury reclining seats. Leave San Francisco tonight, wake up tomorrow morning in Tijuana. Trust me, there are worse ways to wake up in Tijuana. Hey, take that down. Fake news. Anyway, long drives will be much cheaper than flying, so you'll be able to go a lot more places without getting an inappropriate pat-down from TSA agents at the airport. What's that, Shelley? TSA pat-downs are optional. I know, but it's not optional for them. So those are just a few of the ways self-driving cars will make our futures amazing. But there's also a dark side to self-driving cars. So click the link below to watch our other episode, Five Ways Self-Driving Cars Will Make Our Lives Scary. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. Thanks for watching America Uncovered.